now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, I know the two of you weren't up for the, uh, <laughs> the sunrise this morning, but it was pretty. It was bright. Yeah, and dry for most of the morning. Yeah. It wasn't until the afternoon that the slushiness came in. Yeah, so. it seemed like there was a little bit of everything. Mm. Yeah, it started like freezing rain about like 1 o'clock. Yeah, well, we've got temperatures that are a little above freezing, so mostly not going to be an issue on the roads, but a little slippery here and there, especially in the mountains. That is South Burlington, where the temperature is 34, with plain rain coming down now, occasionally some wet snowflakes mixed in. We've got temperatures that go all the way up to 37 in Malone, 32 in Cabot, 32 in Waitsfield. That's why as this moisture pushes in the Northeast Kingdom, it's more likely to be a wintry mix as opposed to just rain. But Ultimately, the warmer air wins out with this, and we don't have a lot of moisture to go. The back edge is already down in central New York, so it's basically between now and about midnight with the steadiest stuff, we'll say, and then just plain rain showers after midnight. So we'll zoom in here and show you where the rain is falling. A lot of this is enhanced because when the wet snowflakes are in the air, the radar beam gets a little confused, so it's not as heavy as it looks at first glance here. But you can see the Saranac River here as it winds through and south of Plattsburgh up to Lake Champlain, raining there north and south of the river. And the blue color here th towards Burke and Island Pond in St. Jay. And Danville is where it's still more of a wet snow, where we have that dusting to two inch of slush potential. But then you even get down towards the Mad River Valley, and we're seeing that switch over as well along Vermont Route 100. So it won't be long with the snow or really any of the precip types because the back edge starts coming through. Then we've just got a few leftover showers overnight. Tomorrow during the day is quiet, but we're thinking another round of snow squalls come in tomorrow after dark from northwest to southeast. There could be a quick little covering of snow with those, and that ushers in colder, but not super cold air for Saturday. So <laughs> kind of the same timing as last week. In other words, Friday into Saturday, but it's going to be just fine on Saturday. The sun comes out and temperatures will be in the 20s. By Sunday, we're up near 40, and it's still dry with a mix of sun and clouds for the second half of the weekend. So tonight we're mostly above freezing just by a little bit. So plain rain showers after some slushiness at the beginning. And then for tomorrow, 45 in Burlington. Most of these numbers will be in the first half of the day. 47 for Lebanon, Brattleboro closing in on 50. But as those snow squalls come through tomorrow evening, we crash down to 25 for Saturday morning. Get up to about 31 during the daytime Saturday. And look at this break that winter goes on. We've got 40 on Sunday, 41 for Monday, and the mid to late part of next week appears to be the warmest. And that means mid 40s to potentially even low 50s by Thursday with a few rain showers in play. Brian, Alice. All right, Tyler, thank you. Well, 